John Rees from the Public Transport Users Association. Yes, folks, I got it right. It's taken me about a year, but I'm got there. John, what's the story? Did you start that brawl in those um, buses down in Wellington? No, but it started a media brawl, hasn't it? You've got the media contacting us, me, a lot today because, you know, we have suggested the Public Transport Users Association, as you correctly for once got it right, um, we would like to see uh, a dedicated police team on public transport in Auckland and Wellington. I like proper, a, th- a proper uh, official police, but a specific team set up for dealing to these sort of issues. John, would you expect that on every bus? Because, I mean, they can't even get drivers now. It's, it's No, no. What it should be is a roving team of police. And I would suggest, just like I've seen overseas, there should be a team of uniformed and mufti police. So if there's if there's certain buses or trains, which we know a lot of problems occur, put the mufti police on there so those scallywags get caught out in the act by police on board a bus. That would that would really shock them. And I think that would help. St- well, hopefully we'll slow this, what appears to be potentially a craze happening. Well, do you really think so, John? Because the Ram Raiders aren't certainly scared because there's no consequences for the youth. Well, the thing is, though, when you've got a, a team of police randomly turning up on buses and ferries and trains, those guys will never exactly know. They'll look at all passengers after a while, given that if you have a good amount of mufti police on, they will look at all passengers wondering, is that Max Whitehead guy a cop? I don't know. Is that John? I tell you what, John, I went on I YouTube know. and had a look, and I just put bus brawl. I thought I might be able to catch up with this and see it in action. Um, I couldn't see the the one here, but there was one in America, and this, there was a security guard right in the middle of it. And guess what he did? He what? backed right out of it. He pulled himself out, and he got out of the way, and they just thumped the crap out of each well, other. It was and awful that, to you, watch. You nailed the, the issue on the head with Auckland. They have transport officers who are basically like parking wardens on the trains. They have no more authority than you or I, and they don't intervene when something bad happens. Yeah, they might ring 111 and say, please send us help. But they're pretty much, they're they're a little bit of a deterrent that you see someone on there, but really they're not that great. What you need to have is we need to have proper police team to go on there. And I would suggest that it's election year this year that all the main parties, and I'd also include New Zealand First in that because they'll probably be in government, but all the main parties should should actually commit to a, a certain budget to pay for a public transport police uh, service. Well, look, it's almost our society is really crumbling. When I looked at this, the violence in our society, there was just just tonight on the news, I guarantee on the um, news we'll see on TV today, there'll be just violent issue after violent issue after violent issue. We need more than that. We need consequences, and that's what's not happening. So that's another political angle, but yeah, that is certainly for public thing. transport, think, John, one, we've got your message. I think from our group, what we, one concern we have is you've seen the Ram Raid, so they've taken off, and it's a copycat syndrome all over the country. Is we'd, we'd hate to see violence on buses and trains be a copycat syndrome done by the youth, videoing it, bashing up innocent people in trains and buses or bus stops. So we really have to stop this real fast. It has to, I mean, this really seriously has to stop fast. Otherwise, it could spiral out into something that I could totally agree, John, dying. because we can't get bus drivers now, and this is a deterrent to be a bus driver. You are in the firing eye and forget, but assaulted. And I, who wants that? Go yeah. to work and then get a bash in the nose, or even worse. So for anyway, our very first interview or talk for the year, quite a serious topic. And I think, I personally think we need to have like what Switzerland, Germany, France and United Kingdom do and have a public transport police team dedicated. Do not get removed. Do not do burglaries. Do not do anything else. They're just on public transport. That was John Reeves giving us a repeat of what he said earlier. Thank you, John. That was very informative. uh, Happy New Year. I'll repeat that too. (laughs) Cheers, old friend. See you soon.